Hey everybody, it's Randy with Carchaeology, and I've got a really exciting day ahead of me. I've got a sign painter coming to do graphics on the Carmen Ghia rally car, and I've got it prepped here and ready for him. Uh, we've been doing a lot of planning on the sponsor graphics and stuff that are going to go on here, and it's going to be a fantastic transformation of this cool little Carmen Ghia project, and I'm going to bring you guys along on this creative voyage. All right, so what do you got here? This is a, a template that you're gonna work with, right? That's right, fitting this up. We set this down and then we put the wax transfer behind it. Okay. We trace over it and it transfers it on there. And then ultimately the rest of it, you're just hand brushing it in. Okay, gotcha. So this will give you a pattern to work with. Yep, play and around with it, fit it up. Gotcha. Oh, super cool. I think you nailed it first time though. Yeah, no, actually, it looks spot on <laughs> perfect good. there. Definitely. Yeah, totally cool. Right here. All right, Astrid, come on, get out of the way. <laughs> Let the man do his work. Plenty of time for doggy kisses later. So, this is like a, a wax yeah, transfer paper? Yeah, similar to a wax transfer paper, but it's technically waxless so that it doesn't uh, interfere with the oil based paint. Uh -huh. And uh, you just slip it on there, make sure it's facing the right way. And when you put pressure on the paper, it uh, transfers a okay, little line gotcha. there. Cool. And that's something that'll just wash off. Yep, that comes right off with some water with afterwards. And so then you're tracing over these letters. I trace on the inside so that the paint covers the line for right. the most part. So if there is any leftover, it'll still wash off, like you said. Cool. But yeah, then you just trace over the pattern and then it's on there for you to paint. Oh, that's totally awesome. Very simple. Sketch that bit in. Okay. So every once in a while you miss something, but. Oh, I see. That's where you can uh, come back in with like a wax pencil and you just kind of right. match the size here. Yeah, so any of these here. gaps, you can, you yep, can fill exactly, that in before yeah. you get in there and do from. that. And well, that's cool. So that gives you your pattern to, to paint on. Very slick. So Bailey here, uh, Bailey Clayton from Clayton Sign Painting. I found him on Instagram and he's a local young fellow that has picked up an old school craft and is absolutely nailing the process of hand lettering. Uh, he's been doing a lot of work around town, doing big signs, doing uh, uh, things on buildings as well as small stuff and logos and graphics on cars. And he absolutely understood my vision as to what I wanted. I sent him a lot of different stuff uh, as inspiration of some real La Carrera Panamericana race cars from back in the era. Uh, he totally dug the project. He took these logos, stuff that I gave him, the La Cucaracha Cocktail Club, which was a sponsor of a car in one of the La Carrera uh, races. And I thought it'd be a perfect theme for this particular car because, well, the Carmen Ghia kind of looks like a cockroach. In any case, it was an absolute pleasure to watch him lay these letters on there. It is a slow and tedious process, but he made it look quite easy. And obviously the process of doing it is fairly straightforward, but having that control to get those lines straight is something that I certainly do not possess. Uh, and uh, man, really, really fun to see these graphics go on the car. So he worked his way around the car on this first day of play, uh, got the uh, major graphics on there, at least as far as the big logos on the quarter panels. And there's a lot more to do, but, uh, but really a pleasure to work with him and to watch him ply his craft on my fun, crazy art project here, the La Cucaracha Rally Gia. Awesome. Just looks spot on right. So I've got all the La Cucarachas on there in one of the race numbers. And the Mexico across the hood. Things are shaping up here. What's next? Bailey, what are you going to hammer out next? Another set of numbers here. Another set of numbers on the hood. Mm-hmm. El Supremo Combustible <laughs> Gasolina. <laughs> right. <laughs> awesome. That, that good. Cool. So numbers next in this block and then up here on the roof as well. But man, it is looking so fantastic. That script is killer. Love it. 
Love it, love it. La Cucaracha Cocktail Club. Throwing a little shadow in there on the Mexico text. Oh, that's totally gonna make it jump out. That looks so good. Especially with the black and the flag and yeah. Awesome. Awesome. See that one just flew all the way through. Perfect. absolutely incredible transformation this thing is really coming together there's more artwork to lay on here but i am so thrilled with what bailey's cranked out here today uh we're gonna have a day two on putting this thing all together but using some of this historic uh stuff that i've dug up recreating these logos hand painting them onto the car getting the race numbers on there both on the roof and on the doors the La Cucaracha Cocktail Club graphics are fantastic. And soon we will put the uh, top hat cockroach there on this quarter panel in between the door and the La Cucaracha. Uh, so some more graphics to go on the back here, of course. We're going to put the um, uh, Gasolmex logo down here as well. Uh, and there's going to be another Mexico in between the rear window and the deck lid. But, uh, but man, this thing is really coming out fantastic. And once this is all together, I'm going to spend some time uh, aging it down a little bit farther. So it looks like a vehicle that actually just came off of the race. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, faux dirt uh, and wear on it as well so that it... Uh, Really looks like a historic artifact, even though we're just kind of making it here in the lab. Okay, day two of the Carmen Ghia lettering project is happening now. Uh, Bailey is on his way out here, and he's bringing along a friend of his, Christian, that does pinstriping. And so between the two of those guys, I think we're going to finish the paintwork on the Ghia here today. And I can't wait to share the finished project with you. So uh, follow along, and I'll show you the handiwork of these two young craftsmen.
All right, finished product here. Everything is painted. These fine gentlemen have absolutely killed it. This thing is phenomenal. Some bitching little pinstripes around the flags and the spears and the amazing lettering here from Bailey Clayton. Just kick ass. Took my vision to reality here and far exceeded everything that I had ever thought. It just looks fantastic. The detail of the letters, everything is obviously hand done. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Some nice little fade. And uh, details, details, details. I am absolutely stoked with the look of this thing. And I can't wait to go fling it around in the dirt and get it all dirty and muddy and, and rally this bad boy. <laughs>